Today is December 3rd, 2016. We have waited since 2012 for somebody to understand our problems, the Kafka-esque nightmare in which we find ourselves. We understand both sides hate us and are content to leave us and our two surviving children in these problems. But we can only ask and pray that somebody will recognize the atrocities these men carry out against us as so-called retaliation in their ingratitude and hypocrisy. My children have seen their mother defiled. We ask quickly in our collective 14th year of prison, urge the governments on both sides to reach some agreement to allow us freedom. Obama, your legacy on leaving office is probably important to you and our lives and these of our children are to us. So please don't become the next Jimmy Carter. Just give the offenders something so they and you can save face and we can leave the region permanently. Donald Trump, the legacy of a millennia of demon worship in this country is that those who speak high and noble of Islamic ideals are not going to simply release our family easily because, because it is correct. They want money, power, friends. You must give them these things before progress can be made. A five-year hostage taking is too long and indicates failure on every side. Believe us, we have tried to explain the irony and sin to these men, but to no avail. We need you and the government to step up and do us a favor here and solve the problems. We are told there are Afghans who are prisoners in Kabul that these men care about and they do not want to be punished. Indeed, they threaten to retaliate against our family that their group will do us harm and punish us. So we ask that you are merciful to their people, and God willing, they will release us. And to whichever State Department official has to watch this video, we both know the President's not going to see it, or the coming President, and that the decision ultimately probably lies with you, but there's no point explaining that to our captors. And I'm sure you think that my family could get out of this if we wanted, and I can only promise you that we can't. You, like us, probably underestimate the arrogant ignorance that pervades these people and don't understand that we're dealing with the people who think that America killed all the monkeys in their country and the drones are listening to them sleep at night. There's no point explaining to them that we are the worst bandies to try and have a prisoner exchange with. They really will not settle this until they get what they're demanding, so I can only ask that you will please quickly try to resolve this for our sake and the sake of our children. And we can talk about compensation later, but it has been more than four years, and so I do plead with you to please be quick.